Hello, and welcome to Earth Trifle. No, we're not doing woodwork. No, we're gonna go on a potato hunt. That's what we're gonna, gonna do. We're gonna try and find my first potatoes. We'd call them new potatoes, because they're new, I suppose. But anyway, they're potatoes nevertheless. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna find a potato. Yeah, we're gonna hunt it down, we are. A potato plant that is ready for the picking. Or at least there might be a few on there. Now I plant my potatoes a little bit on the late side because you get late frosts here and then nip the tops of your potatoes. But this year we didn't get any. No, no frosts, no. So, first of all, we're going to have a look for some potatoes. Ones that are ready. No, not them because they're radishes. Yeah, they're not potatoes. So that's a random potato plant there. And there's a random potato plant down here as well. So we've got a few random potato plants. There's a little row there. But this row here doesn't know. There's no sign of any flowers, which is a good indication that you might actually have some potatoes on there. There will be potatoes on there, but they'll be too small. They'll be tiny. I want them sort of the eating size. New potato size. They're only going to be small because they'll be my first ones. I've got potatoes over here. No, um, no, I don't think there's any luck. Uh, no, they're too small. This is the other thing is that these potatoes here were put in at the same time as those ones. And I put them, put a tie around it. And uh, as you can see, they're bigger. So why is that? Oh, and also, oh, there will be potatoes on these ones because if you come down and have a look, the ones in the tyre, <laughs> even though all these were in at the same time, these ones are starting to show some flowers. So there will be potatoes on there, but they're most likely to be way too small. So I'm not much luck yet, am I? No. But, oh, hang on. What is over there behind me? Oh, it's behind you! Oh, that it is, yeah, a potato. Which happens to have some purple flowers, and sometimes they're white flowers. In this case, they're purple flowers. Now, I like the purple flowers, because the bees like the purple flowers, you see. So you're more likely to, uh, well, get them germinated. Yeah, pollinate, not germinate, pollinated. <laughs> yeah. Hence, we've got uh, those ones just there. So what we're going to do is, we're going to have a look, see whether or not there is any potatoes on that plant. There better be, because I'm hungry. Yes, I am. Oh, my goodie, Alan. The sky has gone grey. Oh dear. Cause, it's only because I come out, you know. So first of all, I need to find something I can use to dig up some potatoes. And that's not always that easy, no, because I put things down and I forget where I put them. Oh, guess what? I remember now. Well, actually, I can see it. It's over there. There's a little hand trowel just there. Can you see it? That's the ideal thing to use. I've got to be a bit careful because it's got spiky ends, yeah? Pointy ends. Like that. You can stab your potatoes. So you've got to be a little bit careful. But what we're going to do is, because I don't want to dig the whole plant up, and I wouldn't be doing it with that anyway, I'll be using a big fork. I'll be using, a, you know, a, you know a, a big boy's fork. Well, no, we're going to use a little hand fork, a little diddy fork. For the diddy men. <laughs> <laughs> what am I on about? But anyway, <laughs> we are going to see whether or not there's any potatoes on this plant. And I'm not going to dig the whole plant up. No. Because if there is uh, potatoes on it and they're a bit small, if I only take what I want, you know, yeah. What I could put in my belly. The rest of the potatoes are on there. They have a chance to carry on growing, but if I dig the whole plant up, that's it, yeah, done for. Oh, I'm dead, don't want that. No, so anyway, let's come down here. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, my kitty, do you know what? Oh, the weed. See, that's not a potato. Let's get rid of that. Don't want that. It's a weed. Oh, there's more weeds. Oh, there's lots of weeds. Oh, that isn't, that's actually um, cats all like that. Mm hmm. That's um, like cat mint. That's what that is. Cat mint, or catnip. Catnip, that's it. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, actually, no. That's why I wasn't careful went to the toilet. No. <laughs> anyway, let's put you down there. And there we go. Oh, dear, sorry about that. Make myself dizzy, let alone you. Okay. So that's the potato plant, which happens to have um, flowers on it. Let's bring it back up again. As you can see, here are our flowers. And even they're starting to pass now. See, they're falling off. That tells me that the plant is likely to be uh, getting close to having potatoes on there. Or they should be. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some soil away from the side. Let's bring it down. Top of that. Yep, we're going to take some soil from the side of the potato plant, and then uh, see whether we've not seen potatoes there. And we'll just take them from the edge. I'm not going to take the whole plant up, like I said, because I want to carry on growing. Oh no, another weed. Dee, 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 dee. Yep, get rid of that. So gently does it. Don't go too close to the plant because you might stab a potato that'd be dead. You don't want to stab any potatoes, yeah. But this is a potato hunt, so we've got to be more stealth. Do, 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 do. That's when you find all your weeds that you haven't looked after, you know, and took care of. I'm going to move this um, 
uh, come, not come beat, um, catnip on the side here. Oh, by the way, this is um, a new fork that I just um, had delivered last week. And this is a Sparing Jackson's uh, Never Bend. And that was only a tenner. And um, cause you, you can't buy forks here very easily in France, but found it on Amazon. So I was quite quite chuffed that tenner. It's definitely worth doing. All right, so we've got this catnip here, which I'm going to transplant on somewhere else with the puddy cat. Yeah. Okay, put that over there. We'll do that in a moment. But what's about potatoes at the moment, isn't it? We're hunting the potatoes. That's what we're doing. Oh, get in there. Get your hands dirty. What's the problem with people these days? They don't like getting their hands dirty. Oh, a bit mad on them fingernails. Oh, dear. You know. Oh, broken nail. Oh, my kitty aunt. And I'm not talking about the women either. <laughs> dee, 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 dee. Oh, I've been getting a lot of, um, there's a, there's a, oh, a, a last sort, you know, lady on or a woman on, um, YouTube shorts. Because I, I sort of like took notes of some of her videos, that's a rubbish in there, isn't it? And, uh, all I'm getting her in my feed now, but I have to admit, she's pretty amazing. She does all this, like, a bit like parkour, you know, where they sort of run and jump on stuff. Crikey, she's strong. Up a body strength and what have you. She doesn't look, you know, she doesn't look like a crazy bodybuilder or anything stupid like that. She just, um, which can look absolutely grotesque. And we're going in. Now, you could put a fork in the side, yeah, a, a big boy's fork. Got, where is this rubbish? Where have I got all bits of plastic everywhere? Where's that all come from? Right, we're going in. I'm hoping to find a potato on the edge here, and then I'll, I'll be able to take it from the edge and we'll grab our potatoes. I'm hoping. They might not even be on there after all this, but I'll still upload the video even though, even if we don't find any. But I'm assuming there are potatoes on there because we've got we've got flowers. It's a good sign. And they might be quite deep though because I planted these quite deep. I'll move the sort up around the rest of the plant. Da 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 da. da. Oh, we're going in. Oh, I just stabbed one. There's a potato. I have to eat that now, wouldn't I? There's one. Oh, I'm not complaining. I don't care if it's stabbed. I'd rather it wasn't, but yeah, it doesn't matter. If you're storing them, you don't want to doubt. Yeah, if you do, actually, this is the thing, right? If you um, are uh, harvesting your potatoes and you damage a few, eat them first. Don't store them once. If, you, you know, if you're doing your main crop for your storage for the winter, just make sure you're only storing ones without damage. I've got one potato, so I'm still going to go hungry today. If I don't find any more, I'll be just eating radishes. So I've got loads of radishes. And salad, lettuce. It's not a bad idea, though, because it's quite good for you. Got all your minerals, you see. Maybe let's bring it back there now. Let's bring it up there. Oh, let's get a bit close. Oh, oh my giddy out. Sorry about that. Oh, my giddy out. Are you getting dizzy now? Because I am. Anyhow, we're going in. Like I said, normally I just take a fork beside it and lift it, but this, this, this seems more dramatic. So um, it's all about effect, you see. Oh, you see that? Show, look, 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 there's one showing. There it is. It's like a turtle head's poking there. There's one. Is that big enough to pick? I think it is for a new potato. We can take that. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm usually a bit more vicious than this, but you know, because it's obviously for effect. Because you know, I'm making the video. So, hello, Mr. Potato Head. So, I've got potato. So, that's nice new, new potato size. That's perfect. And the boot about you, new potatoes is. Once you wash them, what have you, because you don't eat the soil, do you? you just wash them. Um, because they're so fresh, unlike the things you get in supermarkets, you just rub your fingers over like this. The skin is just coming off of my fingers. Literally just come, rubbing off. That. Let me show you. Because skin, because they hadn't had a chance to dry out. You see that skin is so thin? Really, really thin skin. It's very thin skin, this potato. <laughs> oh, you're, you're a sensitive potato. Oh, I've upset it. It's thin skinned, you see. Um, so, as you see, that, yeah. no, no potato peeler needed. You just rub them off. Rub the skins off your fingers when you're washing them. That's all you've got to do. Yeah. So, I've got two potatoes, so I'm still going to get a bit hungry. Yeah. How many potatoes do you want? Did you do? I do love my new potatoes. You won't love me if you're on keto, though, because obviously they're carbohydrates. But I'm not on keto at the moment. I've come off keto for a bit because my thyroid. Before you would, I, don't, I wasn't very comfortable whether or not it was uh, going to do it any good. Now, if you look here, can you see there? You see that potato there? That one's, that one's, uh, yeah, that one's big enough to eat. But that little baby one there, see that? I don't want to pick that or I leave that alone so it can grow into, uh, you know, into a great big potato. 
Maybe, anyway, that one there. So I can leave that one. But that one, I can, I can take that one. Oh, oh potato. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, no, oh, come on. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, can you see all these potatoes there? No? Probably because that's in the way. Yeah. Oh, then that's in the way. It's a bit coming aside here. Very careful. That's too tiny. I will leave that. But I can see some more in here. Oh, oh dear. Now you've got to be careful, obviously, when you're doing this. You don't, you know, that's too small. That one's there's too small. That one might be... Ooh, that one's alright. So I'm just going to lift it off the side there with my finger. There yeah, that's a potato. That's called a potato. Yeah, pommes de terre, on fond say. And then that will leave that one. So I'm going to take the ones that I think are worth taking. Otherwise, there'll be loads more on there and they'll be deep as well because I've been hitting this near the top, this is. So I've been heaping them up, you see. Oh, look, there's a bug. See the bug? Yeah, leave them alone. You ain't doing any harm. I don't hope you're not, anyway. Don't know what sort of bug it is. So we're going in. Oh, I see one just fell off. That one fell off. But saying that, that's actually not. A, oh, I don't know. It's all right. We'll use that. Bit that fell off. We'll use it. Oh, there's no one in there. Is that big enough to eat? I think it is. Remember, these um, potatoes are quite young at the moment. These potato plants. And they only just start flowering. So then, you know, if I if I did it any earlier, they'd be, they wouldn't be worth eating, would they? But that is. Ha ha ha. I'm going in. Hopefully I don't stab anything. It'd be a bit aggressive, wouldn't it? Oh, there you go. I've got it. Another one. Oh, I think I've almost got enough there, just a little old me. I'm running my hand in there. Now this soil, even though it's um, I've been watering it, isn't that moist so that I could do some proper watering because what you want is the potatoes to swell up. So that water isn't really getting down into the plant very well. Let's see, that shouldn't be like that, that's quite dry. That low down, that deep. You see? Oh, hello. Is that, is that Australia? I think it is! Oh, look at her. Good day, mate. I've got the right hat on. <laughs> mm, there we go. <laughs> right, so I've, I don't, you know, normally what you do is you take a feel of each plant that you've noticed has got flowers on. Um, but I don't want to take too many off anyway at the moment. So I'm going to push the soil back in, and then we're, I'm going to go and eat them. But I've got to cook them first, obviously. I don't eat raw potatoes, because it's not good for you. It'll give you be give you belly ache. Yeah, don't eat raw potatoes. No. Then I'll probably just boil them up, because they look absolutely scrummy. And, uh, you know, you can end up spoiling them. So um, I want to give them a proper test, so I've got to boil them up and eat them. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, my new potatoes. Oh. And do you know what? They cost nothing. I know there's only food there, but there's going to be loads more in there later. So just make sure that's, um, yeah, yeah, cover it, make sure you cover it right up, yeah. Give it a chance again, then I'm going to come out and later and water us again. So there you go. Anyway, there are our first potatoes. Some people had them earlier than us, you know, because they put them in earlier. And other people, well, they had, well, the frost attack them and then they'll be dead. <laughs> That'll teach you. So, yeah, patience is a virtue. Then for the gardening, it's usually the case. But all equally, you can't leave it too late because then you'll get no potatoes. So if the point being, the moral of the story is, if it's starting to get flowers on your potato plants, the likelihood is you're going to have potatoes. Only little potatoes, but you have potatoes. And I've got, what, half a dozen there? Well, five. Got five and, and, yeah, a little tiny one. <laughs> and a leaf. Yeah. Oh, OK. Anyway. That's what I do. I want to go and get through potatoes and this plant can carry on growing, you see. I haven't destroyed the plant. Seems to make sense, wouldn't you say? I reckon so. Anyway, it's time for me to go and I'm going to say something I am. I'm going, what was it now? I forgot. Oh, I know. Have a lovely day. <laughs> Dad's up.